have. Uh, my understanding when I was first told about Quicksilver uh, Scientific and, and your protocol, that you had something that was unique and you had a, a, a method of getting heavy metals out that was something that was different and safer. Can you tell us about that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the sort of pharmaceutical approaches to stripping mercury out uh, would be what you mentioned, the DMPS strip taken IV, sometimes it's taken orally, or DMSA. These are pharmaceutical chelators of heavy metals. They bind the metals and they push them out to the kidneys. Now, there's a range of problems here. One is the kidneys are often one of the most damaged organs from heavy metal toxicity, so pushing more uh, metals out through them is often ill-advised, or the kidneys aren't able to handle and get it out, so you just start moving the metals around the body. The second issue is that the compounds themselves are hepatotoxic or liver toxic, and so you, while you're administering these treatments, you have to track their liver enzymes to make sure you're not poisoning them. Now you go back to why they accumulated metals in the first place, it was because their natural system wasn't working. So, in going through this program myself of removing the toxicity of the 17, dif 17 dental amalgams I had, the first thing I started with was those pharmaceutical chelators. But I noticed, even though I was taking them, the mercury wasn't coming out the urine like it was supposed to, and I was getting sicker and sicker. It was when I turned my attention to how the natural system is supposed to work, I realized that I could augment and amplify that natural system, strip out all the mercury naturally, and reverse all the problems that I developed. Once I looked deeper into that, I saw that I was not only removing mercury, but I was removing a whole host of different toxins. Things like chlorinated hydrocarbons, pesticides, herbicides, the other ranges of metals like lead, arsenic, cadmium. And so by stimulating the body's natural detoxification, you're stripping all kinds of different toxic burdens from the body and you're using its central antioxidant system to do this. So you're reversing oxidative stress at the same time. When you look at, uh, if you do searches on PubMed of, say, the main uh, detoxification enzyme, glutathione S-transferase, we're working with that enzyme and you can see that's linked to development of a whole range of different cancers. People with inefficient glutathione S transferase are more susceptible to cancer. Why is that? Because they've got toxins inside the cell that are promoting mutations in the genetic structure through generation of reactive oxygen species. So if we can reverse that, why wouldn't we want to do that instead of just putting a pharmaceutical in to try to yank some of the metal specifically out of the body? So what does that mean? Um, my nat I have a natural detox system. But you're saying it wouldn't be to come uh, all through the kidneys. My natural detox system would mean what? Your natural detox system primarily moves through the liver and the small intestines. Some of it is moving through the kidneys, uh, maybe 30-40%, but most of it is going through the liver and small intestines. So we want to heal those areas and move the toxicity out in the, in the pathways that they were meant to come out. Okay, so your protocol would bolster my liver down to my, my liver gallbladder and then into my pancreas and into my small intestine first. Absolutely. And take the metals out through that path and spare my kidneys? Absolutely. And one of the things you want to do, uh, one of the emerging uh, knowledges is how there's an interaction between the small intestine and the liver and how together they determine how best to regulate your metabolism, especially the aspects of metabolism relating to detoxification. So when we treat you in our way, we unite or relink the communication between the small intestine and liver so that it can more properly uh, regulate your detoxification functions. How long does it take, if I go through your system, how long does it take to get metals out? Metals are very slow to come out of the body. You've uh, you're working by moving metals out of the blood and in th out through the intestines, but the body, the rest of the body, the protein structure of the body, probably has one to 10,000 times more mercury or more metal burden than the blood does. So you have to constantly clean the blood, and then the body redistributes its burden into the blood. So this process of stripping the full burden from the body takes anywhere between three 
and 18 months. Generally, I tell people to bet on going for a year. The first six months is the most active part, and then you just have to keep the momentum going.